Padlocks are just padlocks, but Trimax kind of switched it up a little bit. This is going to be a padlock, but it has a combination on the bottom. This is going to come in handy if you're like me and you lose stuff all the time. You just don't have to take care of those keys as well. The whole goal here is just to lock up our stuff. So what you can do with this, you can scramble the combination and lock it up. It's going to be great if you own a business. You don't have to transfer keys all the time. You just give the person wanting to use the trailer the combination and they can get in. Out of the box, the combination is going to be zero, 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 and zero. You want to lock that up and to unlock it, you just kind of push down and it'll pop out. So you can reset this. I'm going to show you how. When it's unlocked, I have it unlocked. There's going to be a little key right here. I'm going to put it in this little slot right there, push it in, and then turn it sideways like this. Then we can go ahead and set our combination. I like to use 248s on my lock just like this and then once that's done we can take our key rotate it like that and that should not lock so that's how you reset your combination it's very easy you can do that as many times as you really want i suggest just kind of scrambling it up a little bit and then clicking it and it's locked and ready to rip the main part of the lock is going to be a brass body, so it's going to resist against that rust and corrosion, and it's not really going to crack if someone tries to hit it with a hammer. And then the shackle right here, it's going to be made of hardened steel. It's going to help resist against some of those bolt cutters. To make sure this is going to work with you, just make sure you have a hole that is a diameter of 5 sixteenths of an inch. That's just going to go through that hole, so definitely measure for that. And then the inside width of the shackle, it's going to be one inch, so you want to make sure you have enough. For the locks like these, it definitely works, but you just want to make sure it's going to fit within that little range there. The height when it's closed overall is about four and one eighth of an inch, and the overall width is going to be two inches. So that'll help you determine if it's going to be the right lock for you and if it's actually going to fit. One thing I would do, just because I lose things all the time, the cool thing about this key, you can slide it just like this. You can keep it with it, and then you can lock up your stuff. So that's what I would do, just because I don't wanna have to keep track of this tiny little key. So they made it to where it would actually work with the little shackle diameter. So I would definitely keep it like this so it's ready, so you won't lose this, because once you lose the key, you're not gonna be able to reset it. But when it comes to locks, I definitely recommend grabbing a coated style lock. This is just a padlock with this style, but we have other different types of locks if that's something you're looking for here at E-Trailer. And that's pretty much it for a look at the Trimax combination padlock.